Right, I think the, I think it's working. What it is with this thing is I can't tell when it's on or not. So I'm having to guess that this is working folks. Um, I'm using the small camera when you've got no indication, no light comes on, nothing to tell you you're recording. Um, anyway, I went on my bike. Now, fortunately, today, before I left home, I checked. The tyres had already been pumped up a couple of days ago. I changed my mind. It was too windy and didn't go out. Um, anyway, I got out, started cycling up the road, and I noticed this has happened before, so good job I, I recognised the signs. The handlebars were loose. So I thought, this is weird, we're going to wobbling about. And do you know what? I must have had a guardian angel looking after me then, because when I was at home and I was just getting the bike ready, getting it out, I hadn't thought about tightening. I normally do every now and again check that, and I will again now, but I put in the Allen key for the steering, for the handlebars. I actually put the Allen key in. Something told me to put the Allen key in. I didn't take the puncture outfit and I didn't take a spare inner tube. And I thought, oh God, I bet you any, you know, because I'm not taking, I got the, the pump, but I hadn't, um, but something said, take the Allen key. Because that happened to me a long time ago when I was on the strawberry line. Fortunately, there were a lot of bikers about. And someone had an Allen key that fitted and they tightened it for me. And after that, I always carried an Allen key. Always, until just this recently. I've been out a couple of times, I haven't taken the Allen key. I haven't taken the puncher outfit. <sighs> I'm over at uh, Bleeden. And I'm going up towards... Loxton, and then I'm going to decide whether I'm going to go towards Winscombe and on the Strawberry Line back through Puxton, or I'm going to go to Christon and up through, uh, pushing the bike up a hill where the bluebells are. I don't know if there'd be enough bluebells for me to risk doing that today, that's the only thing. Then I would come down Canada Coombe Way. Anyway, over and out for now, that's it. Right, I'm off again. I'm just going to cycle along a bit of the little lane here. Um, I've got the other camera, but it's much bulkier to hold. Um, so I thought I'd, what I'd do, I'd do some of this camera. You can only do zoom on uh, video, but I'll just do a little bit going through the village. It will be bumpy. I'm having to steer with one arm because I would have noticed how loose the sandalbars up were uh, when I went out on it last time because um, when you steer with one arm it is naturally a bit wobbly anyway but I was putting a lot of strain on the handlebars probably that's a new bench I haven't seen that before, it's nice so we've got Brent Knoll over there That'll deserve a visit one day. I haven't done that yet for a couple. Of, I haven't done it for a couple of years actually. Um, there's the bleeding quarry ahead. I think it's still a working quarry. I'm not sure. They do something in there anyway. I'm too dressed up at the moment, but you can't always tell till you get out how hot you're going to be. And I'm still wearing jeans. I'm not peeling off till May, really. It can suddenly change the weather. It can suddenly get very cold. Of course, another thing I didn't check was my tyres, because if I have been sabotaged, they might have let the tyres down a bit. No. So I haven't done that either. Of course, I am food. I'm on the road, so I'm videoing cars going by. There's the bus stop. The bus rarely comes there. It's like one of those that never comes. <laughs> I think it does, but very, very rare. The main 20 never comes this way anymore. 
not as far as I know unless it's changed its mind. Right, here's a, if you need it, here's a pit stop here. Chain's gone. Oh God. Chain's gone. Oh, it means I've got to walk all the way home. Not to worry. Chain's gone. It means I've got to walk home with my bike. Okay, not to worry. At least I ain't got too far with it. Yeah, look, chain's just gone then. There's nothing I can do. Know, is it? Right, I'm on the bike again. I got the chain fixed yesterday. I tightened up the steering wheel uh, collar myself. Checked the, the chain today. Um, Re-educated myself about the gears because I'd forgotten about how to use the gears properly so that you don't have a tight chain. Um, it's more likely to break if it's too tight so there's some rules you mustn't have it the combination between the front and the back um, rings if you like have got to be there's certain rules about that anyway I've just come through um, Bleeding Village had a chat with a lady at the bus stop apparently there's a number four that comes up here not up here but it goes through the village and back round into town it's a new, it's a new um, facility, which is very good because um, if you imagine a village, if you imagine a village with a lot of old people who don't drive anymore, it's their only means of transport. Not everyone's got a car. Not only that, once you have a bus pass, why not use it? Not only, it'd be handy for me. You can get the four on the seafront, apparently. Brings you to Bleeding, and then I can come for a walk over here in a different way. I'm cycling today, of course. Um, well, I've got that off just on a temporary basis. I don't know if I'll be able to video, because it's very difficult going down this hill videoing with one hand. You need both hands to control the steering wheel the handlebars so I won't be risking it I won't come back on now till I get to the bottom because it's just too risky so this is where I'm going to stop just in case anything comes they can see me from both directions here so I'm going to put my hat on and then I'm going downhill towards Shiplate Loxton Compton Bishop, turn off and go along the, the road to um, 
Winscombe. We're on the road to Winscombe. Over and out. Right, I'm on. I've just come down that beautiful, see that beautiful place there, which is bleeding. Just come down through there. Very sharp, very dangerous for really. I've had to walk up it loads of times and push my bike. I'm not coming back that way today because it is dangerous. But anyway, here's my lovely orchards. Now these trees have been planted later than the first ones that I used to watch grow. And of course, not a couple of weeks ago, I came on one of my walks from Hutton, I came down past the farm over that way. And there's the hills over there. Beautiful views from up the top there, over towards Western Supermare, towards the Bristol Channel, Brent Knoll. It's a beautiful day, it's probably going on for 12 o'clock. The video will be very bumpy and wobbly at times because I'm on a bike steering with one hand. And sometimes I've got to grab hold the steering, the handlebars, so the camera will go sort of onto the floor or in the side. I'm just doing a little bit of video and of me cycling along this country lane near Ship Lake. I've done it before many times, up and down, and I've walked it, and I've gone cross country down there by the River Axe. Um, so I'm just giving you a bit of a, it's very, it's very, you put more pressure on your backside as well when you've got to use one hand because you clutch more with your backside to the saddle when you've only got one hand to. I do, I did, and normally quite often I strap the camera to the handlebars. But I had such an awkward time with it last time I did it. I think it also loosens the handlebars. So, we won't be doing a lot of video in today, it'll be mainly photos. But I'll do snippets on the strawberry line. And scenes. Here's a lovely hedgerow. The beautiful Somerset countryside. This one doesn't zoom. Oh yeah, this one does. Hold on. This will zoom on video, but you can't see what you're what you're doing. So I'm going to zoom in over there to the farmhouse over there. I've got no idea if it'll come in. I've taken notes of images of that in the past, but I've got no idea if you can see it. I'll know when I do the video and I'm at home. Donkey home up there where the donkeys live and they're on the beach today, some of them. They've been out now for a week since the kids broke up. <coughs> right, over there we got got um, another farm. Um, we are now approaching... Um, we're now approaching Sh Ship Lake, it's called, where the fisheries are. Well, you can go and fish for your fish. And we'll be going past a very old farm towards Loxton. A few cars are out today. It's worse when the... It's worse this road, actually. Um, it's got a lot busier over the years, put it that way. Plus, uh, more people are out. Somebody coming up behind me now. So there we've got Lake Farm. And there we've got the orchards. Over and out. Right then, I've come through the ship lake. Along the lovely country road. Lovely fields full of dandelions. I've stopped here before and had um, a rest. I've got my water near at hand if I need it. Oh, there's some ducks. A pair of ducks that are swimming off there. 
I don't know if it's coming out. Like I say, you can't see a thing with these um, this magnifying thing. But right in the distance, look, guess what? Right in the distance, we've got Crook's Peak. Wish I was up. I think it was February now and I was up that. And there's lots of walks meandering around. They seem to be opening up a new road down the bottom there, but it's probably private for a house I expect they're building. But all these mounds around here have got history. There's lots of tribes in Somerset, lots of warriors, warriors. Um, So anyway, I'm going to try and do a little bit of cycling going along the road um, with the camera. Somebody else coming along on their bike. I'm just going to try and do a little bit. I'm not stopping for another water thing yet. Not yet. So here we are, we're coming into the village of Loxton. Now, the other day I debated whether to turn left at Loxton and go up through Christon and up through the Bluebell Hill area. <coughs> but I've decided to leave that without the bike, get on a number five to Hutton another day and go and check out the Bluebell Wood. I don't know if it'd be full bloom yet because it's still a little bit nippy. Still a little bit nippy. Now that's the West Mend way it goes up over that hill, following that wood up there, which I also did after Crook's Peak. It was a part of the Crook's Peak walk to skirt that wood. So here's Loxham Village. The peaks um, coming into more colour as the spring arrives. And here we come. A, if I turn left here, I would go to Christon. But I'm going towards Winscombe. Very old garage there, Loxton Garage, by the way. Very old garage. Still get your MOT down there. The, the petrol pumps probably still work, by the way. I've got pictures somewhere of those pumps. You can't video and take photos at the same time, so I haven't taken a picture of them on this occasion. I thought I'd just keep this little camera rolling for now. I've got the other camera. The other camera's much heavier to hold. This one's ideal for cycling. <coughs> Even better when I've got it on the handlebars. It's a lovely spring day, everyone. April the 20th, 2021. We'll be coming up to the Hinkley Point works in a minute where they're laying pipes. Where they're laying pipes. And just up here by the 40 sign is where I normally turn off to follow the West Mendip Way through Loxton and up round skirting the wood. Just up by this sign. We'll be passing over the motorway in a minute, but I'm going to get off and walk this bit. I'll just get up to here. I don't push myself too much. <sighs> yeah, we're going over a bridge in a minute to the motorway. 
bleeding four miles as the crow flies. No, quicker as the crow flies, I expect. And it's the West Mendip way. Right, over and out then.